everyone and welcome back to Food Review Club. You join us today here in Birmingham and may I add, if you're new here and you fancy watching our foodie content that we're bringing you, hit the subscribe button now, please, if you can. This really is the best way for you to help us grow this channel, do more, go further, and carry on this journey. Now, Callum, we're at Reed Square Fish and Chips here in Birmingham. Looks pretty well talked about online and this little quest we've got going on to try to find these real hidden gems of fish and chip shops continue. Now, apparently this place does an amazing kebab naan, which we should probably get that as a side as well. But I do want to get the fish and chips. This is not a good one for the diet, but come in and let's order some food and see what this place is. Oh, they've got fish. They've actually got fish. Oh, here we go. We're going to name one. Magic. Come on, Callum. Let's go and eat. Doesn't look like they have any upside down catfish. Long term viewers. Well, short term viewers all know. Right. Let's look at the menu. Okay. Large fish and chips. £9.90. So the tartar sauce. Plus 11. Curry sauce. Hi! Yeah, so it says online you're famous for your uh, your naan bread wraps. Okay. Is that right? Probably, so I made them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So what are you after? A naan or a wrap? What would you what well uh, you tell me? What's naan best? Yeah. Naan with what meat in, with meat on it? I like chicken tikka, but a lot of people like the lamb. Or you could have both. I love both. We also do a Mediterranean, should I put a sprinkle of that on? Ooh. Yeah. It's nice, yeah. Any sauce, honey? What what sauce would you recommend? Um, I personally like barbecue, but hot chili and mayo. Hot chili and mayo. Let's go classic. Okay. I'm, I'm getting maybe we should suck on fish and chips. Is your fish and chips good? The fish and chips are very good. The fish is always fresh. It's never frozen. Yeah. And we pay top dollar for the potato. There is a cheaper supplier, but we don't use them. We use. All right. Them. Well, let's do that then. We're, do you want some we're, we're two for the price of one. So, yeah, just as it comes, it's fine. Can I just keep them with tomato on here? Yeah, let's just just slam it all in so there. So you want to try some chips? No, I have a, I have a, a cod and chips as well. Large fish and chips. Large fish and chips. I'm going to cook your fish from fresh, okay? Please. Five minutes away. Um, yeah, absolutely fine. Could I have, a, uh, if possible, a, a fatter piece, like the one with the big, the big end, if possible? But uh, you want a fat fish? Yes, please. Yeah, no worries. Like the thicker piece, you know, with a with a the bigger flake. It's okay. All right, let's let's pay. Seventeen forty. All right, that's good. How much was the uh, kebab? Sorry. Uh, seven fifty. Well, that's good. Nine ninety for your fish and chips. Well, very good. Do you need a receipt on your card? Yes, please. That looks really good. Yeah. That's that is huge. How much is that again? Seven quid. Seven fifty. Something like this. Whatever. Um, where is your problem? That's just a lot of them. Look, have a look at that, please. 7.50. Look at that. That's got um, every character of a, a really nice bit. Look at that as well. Look at that little char on that side. Wow. But is the bread made here? The bread. Is it made here? No. 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 Where is it made? They are not coming. Oh, but then you just, you just company, yeah. you finish it off. I saw the oven, that was all. No. Not working? No. Ah. Salt and vinegar? Loads of salt and vinegar, please. I will wrap this up for you. No wrapping, please, I'm saying. No, you're not. That one. Yes. Yeah. You want me to wrap that? Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's okay? Absolutely spot. No, that's fine, that's fine, just open, open. There you go, sir. Let me Thank wrap you this much. for you. Oh, it's good, man. Mm -hmm. There you go. I have yeah. napkins, I have forks, I have bags. You have everything. Pretty much. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Um, perfect. I think we've got everything we need, Callum, right? Yeah. Put Excellent. drinks in the car. All right. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Bye. I said. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> I think we've got enough. Wow. So nine ninety for that. That's a big portion. That well. is a big portion, and we've got that is huge. I think we'll come to that second. Let that, let that carry on. 
steaming and cooking. But first things first, we've got a two for one going on, people. Like and follow for more. So, Reed Square. Online, you said, uh, has won awards. And it had a bit of a weird menu. Like, it had uh, some fishless fish. <laughs> vegan option, which is cool. And obviously, that, but what is that made of? <laughs> Let us know. And they, it said that they were the first... They believe they're the first fish and chip shop to, to sell natural kebabs. Again, what does that even mean? <laughs> what that means they're yeah. talking in riddles. Hey, it looked good. How's it going, mate? Yeah, you good? Enjoy your food. Yeah, nice one. What's your name? Josh. Josh, have you got a quote? Have you got anything to tell the world watching now? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it, yeah. Thanks, brother. Enjoy it while it lasts. Before Thanks. the price goes up. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> See you, mate. So, yeah, a bit of a strange one. And, yeah, I, I, I didn't get the sort of elite category vibes from it. It was good, was like, it might be your, your beating heart, but let's, let's stop talking and start eating, Callum. I think there's only one way to find out Literally. exactly where we're at, and that's to, to chow, chow down. It's one of these sort of lids you can't get in. Love it, I love that. Love that. Oh, this doesn't leak. No, yeah, that's good. There we go. Now, I don't believe this is going to be the star of the show. I think that is going to be the star of the show, but you're going to have to stay tuned for that one. Remember, if you're new here, people, give us a little thumbs up, please, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really is the best way for you to catch our next video to support us on our journey. Now, I've got some characteristics here that I really like the look of. Up here on the top of that sort of crown, on that mountainous ridge on, across the top of the fish there, but then we have got, yeah, she did absolutely plaster it with vinegar, how, just how I like it. So that can compromise the batter, but should be there in flavor. Let's stop talking and start eating. Are you ready, bro? Yep. Here we go. Now, they haven't got any crunch, but they're super fluffy on the inside. Very, very nice. That fluffy, Chip really absorbs the vinegar. <clears throat> oh. Exceptional curry sauce. Woo! Fiery, heat. Asian inspired spices in there. That's proper curry sauce. Good, Good start. job. Good, Good start. start. Good start. One more. I really can't fault those chips. In the right mood, this is what you're after. Ah, go on then. <laughs> you said one more, two more. Man's had a fistfuls. Wow. Do you know what's making that? What? Dunk the funk levels of vinegar. <laughs> Dunk, if you're watching. I honestly think that that could be a, a major hack to fish and chips, level up. When, when you think you're about to do enough vinegar, go again for the same amount of time. <laughs> Honestly, there's so much vinegar that it's like, we've got splashback. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Come on! Okay, Callum, this is the sort of the main event now. Yeah. And, ag and again, I asked, as I always do, can I have the fat end of the fish? So you get the chunky monkey. You get the big flake. The batter is kind of, kind of holding a bit of oil. Ugh, okay. That car sounds like a steam. Like that car's surely going to break down. Choo choo! All right. That's absolutely wonderful fish. Ooh. Wonderful. This is a great start. But the batter isn't screaming world championship vibes at me. But what it is screaming is, eat me. Like, <laughs> really good. Now let's have my final bite. I'll say, I'll say that, I'll say he that, says. I'll say that loosely. Oh. See? See, I've got to go in again.
Oh, that's three bucks. Bro, well, this is this is honestly. You've got a kebab to eat. Yeah, but we need to get past this first. <laughs> we won't. It will be gone. That's four bites. I can start a little bite. Five. <laughs> Do little dingers. We're stop really trying to. <laughs> All right, I think I know where I'm at. I think I know where I'm at, Callum. Okay. Should we score these separately? Yeah, why not? That's 10 bites. No, it's not. No, it's 10 bites later. I want to show you something. 11. <laughs> Look at this. Hold on. You see this flake? I love it. Like you pull each piece of flake out and experience that marvellous, tender. It's got such a creamy, buttery flavour. Our fish and chips is the best in the world. I'm sorry. Can you believe a minute ago I said I was going to have one more bite? That's 13. No more. 14. <laughs> no, right. after you said one more. Right, time for a score. 15. Right, read square fish and chips. Hold on. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's like, it's like, I feel like a mathematician, Callum, <laughs> working out my equations. Okay, so where's the equation leading you? This, for me, is your typical British fish and chip shop on the higher end of the scale with intent. They care. It's a great product, super, um, super chips. The fish is fresh, you can tell, it's beautiful. And that batter is really nice. It's a little bit wet and a little bit not quite there, but I kind of like it. Ample dunk the funk levels of vinegar. Loads of salt from height as well, which we know that makes it taste better. <laughs> Curry sauce has got a bit of fire to it. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it like a, an eight out of 10. No, oh, okay. I think you're gonna go eight out, it. No, eight out of ten is a fair score. This is very good. In that league of place, brilliant. All right, round number two. Seventeen. Here we go. The giant. Now this, Callum, is a seven pound. Seven pound fifty. Seven pound fifty. Kebab. Monster. Now, whatever realm you live, that is. Oh, it smells good. That is brilliant. That char on the, the chicken. We've got chicken, we've got lamb and Donna in there, I believe. Oh. It's a good job I've got big hands, honestly. <laughs> I'm just balancing this whole kebab. Oh. Oh, it just looks better than it tastes. Oh, okay. Um, some of that chicken is a bit overdone, actually. Oh. But it's big, it's fresh, it's burly. Plenty of salad. 
the award winner we came to see. I don't think so. Um, it's quite a 10. 6.7 on the kebab. Okay. Reed Square. Thank you for that. I really enjoyed that. Hope you have too. You got a two for the price of one today. That isn't worth a subscribe. I don't know what it is. Thanks everyone. And that, that's a review. See us big daddy B pugs and Matt on a mission. To find he's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?